listening to the radio I learned every little thing I was ever gonna need to know I learned about loving before I ever got kissed All about fighting before I made a fist I got a lesson in leaving, never packed a bag Smoking and drinking, not a sip or drag I knew about cheating, never broke a heart I was king of the road, never owned a car I got stuck in prison, but I never did time Knew Jesus long before I saw the light I had a first class education that came absolutely free Country music made a man out of me. We're going to start off with showing you some equipment and some of the stuff you're going to need today. One thing you're going to need, some guts. It's going to take some nerve to crawl off onto a steer for the first time. But we're going to show you how to do it the right way and the safe way so that you're ready to go. One of the major things you're going to need is a good saddle. You're going to want a saddle with a low cannel, something that you can slide out of easy. If you feel like you're going to fall off, you can bulldog out of it. Next thing you want is some big stirrups, wide stirrups. When you crawl off, you don't want your feet to hang too long, jerky past the steer, or even drag. Well, make sure you got the right kind of equipment so you don't get hurt. All right, guys, here's a warning. Make sure the bottom of your stirrup leathers are not hanging down below your stirrup. I recommend cutting them off at the top of the stirrup to make sure your foot does not get caught. It also is a good idea to make sure your keeper is tight. Next, you're gonna need a good bridle. One of the bridles I recommend is just a D-ring snaffle. It's something that when I'm running down the arena making a run, if I pull on this rein, it's gonna ride my horse to the steer, but it's not gonna get in his face and slow him down. Okay, bulldogging's a timed event. The faster you get to the steer, the faster you're gonna get him on his back. The other bridle that I like to use is just a, a shank snaffle, short shank. It's got the same thing. You're going to have a little bit more bite when you're pulling your horse and asking him to ride to that steer. But it's still not going to get in his face and slow him down too much so that you can't make a good run. One of the most important things you're going to need is a good horse. This is Fancy Woody. This is a bulldogging horse that I've won state, regional, and national titles on. He's the best bulldogging horse that I've ever rode. And when you get a horse like this, you want to take care of him. I like a good splint boot that's going to give good support to his suspensory tendons. And I also like a good bell boot that's going to protect him from overreaching as hard as he has to run down the arena. When in an event that a few tenths of a second could mean first or last, you want to have the right equipment and a good horse to help you fill your pocketbook. 